Okay, hey guys, how's it going? This is Dave Coleman, and I apologize because this seems a little bit rushed, but this is the second time I'm, like, not not the second time, sorry, this is like the fourth time I'm trying to record this commentary. Um, I just wanna, it's, my mic keeps making these weird, hissy, fucking wind noises, and I'm thinking it's either my laptop fucking bat, fan, I was about to say battery then, but if it's not that, then I'm just gonna buy a new mic, I bought a studio mic. It's just not within my banter. And my game audio is far too loud there. But what I want to talk about today is a few things. One is like YouTube drama and the media get involved. This is also PewDiePie, like his, his situation. And what happened today in England, which has left a lot of us, well, a lot of the English people, mainly all people who have family in London, um, that, that's what I want to cover first because that's the most serious topic when uh, it affects all, obviously all British people as, as terrorist attacks are happening on our doorstep and it's never a good thing when terrorist attacks happen anywhere or for any reason whether it's religiously motivated politically motivated I'm, I'm trying to not sound too unintelligent because it's actually a serious subject uh, yeah but all, I just want to say a quick word on that is a uh, rest in peace to I think it's I haven't I've not checked in the past little bit but when I last checked it was four announced dead and uh, and there was many more injured and it's it's just so heartbreaking I, my my thoughts go out to all the families and uh, any relatives and friends who have lost somebody in that tragedy. Whoa. I almost feel uncomfortable talking about the other situ the other topic, which is uh, I know I know I'm late to this topic, um, but it's the PewDiePie getting dropped from Disney, I think it is. Yeah, getting getting dropped is a nice way to say it. But all of this was because of jokes. Now this is this is bad. When mainstream media gets involved in YouTube, I think it's stupid because it has nothing to do with them. And I, I honest to God, for once in my life, I can finally say I genuinely agree with Daniel Keane when he says this. The man spoke sense. The video. They shouldn't be meddling in. YouTube is for YouTubers and the watchers. Like you always see articles about PewDiePie about how much money the guy makes, right? That he does make a lot of bank credits to the guy, right? But he has put his whole life. YouTube channel. And so is his girlfriend, you know, they, they, he made that channel, he, he deserves that money, as much as, as long as, like, oh, I just stumbled there, but, so many of you think he doesn't know him that, he risked, all, like, wasting time, leaving jobs, moving country, it, like, you, I don't understand, and you don't understand, unless you're a, unless you're a big YouTuber, unless you're the next fucking, Unless you're a big YouTuber, you don't understand what goes into day-to-day -day life of making, well, I was about to say, of making videos, but what they have to do. It's essentially when it gets that big, it's a business. That's what you need to understand. Like people struggle to like that. The man makes that much money because he's put his time and his life into his channel. I think people need to focus more on the fact that he gives millions of pounds to charity without a single article, maybe one or two being mentioned. I think the fact that the fact that that isn't reported enough should be fucking reported. But the fact that oh, PewDiePie made 27 million this year, fucking so, so right he should. If you had 54 million subscribers, he should like you know he's grafted. He stays funny for this long. I've been watching PewDiePie since he was on like like fucking 50,000 or like 100,000. I've been watching him since day, you know, since since he started. Forever. YouTube, you could actually have a channel art and all that stuff, and like YouTube looked nice, and it didn't look shit. Like it kind of looks pretty shit now compared to what it used to be back in the day. YouTube used to look fucking hot. You could design your own channel. It, it was actually your shit, but now it's just like a crappy little banner and a and a crappy picture. But I don't think anybody actually really gives a shit now about that stuff because it's not really. Oh, this guy's got a sick channel. Lot. I'm gonna sub, mate. You know, I'm kind of drifting off topic, but. I think, like, some of the, like, people should just, like, don't even give the news 
or the media, I, I think it was Wall Street, or Wall Street Journal, I think it was. Why would somebody, like, why was that not flooded with comments of support? Like, they should have been saying, why the fuck are you taking this shit out of context? And they would have took that shit down. But no, they ruined his ties with Disney and all this because of out of context banter. That's all it was. It was out of context banter. I found that shit fucking hilarious. PewDiePie, if I was you, mate, I would have rocked that joke. I told Disney to go fuck themselves. Probably the next BBC kitty fiddling little fox. Video's coming to an end, guys. Hope you have a great day. And I'm going to be generic as fuck YouTube and say this. <gasps> Peace, 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 generic as fuck. Okay. Bye.